Hey guys, the last video I posted, I talked about having a little slice of heaven that uh, I had put together for my uh, boxing equipment and my boxing gym. Uh, this video is just intended to go through each one of the items and, uh, you know, kind of what it is that I'm working with. Um, it's nothing serious, nothing big, but uh, it works for everything that I'm trying to do with boxing. So uh, here it is. Hope you enjoy. And then I'm also going to post uh, my next few videos on things getting started into boxing, like that I had questions on, such as um, how to measure hands, how to measure your head for headgear, uh, just different mounting things like I did, or options for speed bags, heavy bags, uh, double end bags, stuff like that. So uh, I'm just going to jump right into what these items are, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. So here I took pegboard, just from like Lowe's, <clears throat> and I mounted it up on the wall, and I got everything like my uh, measurements. You, I use this cloth measuring tape to measure my hands, my head, that's for like the gloves, the headgear. Um, I've got my Mexican style hand wraps. I use a like lingerie bag <clears throat> to wash those when they get dirty, but I usually let them hang so they air out and dry out. Um, I've got in here some Escrima sticks for some hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff that I had done in the past. I've got an agility ladder and uh, some cones. for ex uh, They're excellent for footwork drills. Obviously, I got my jump ropes. I've got my different sets of headgear, um, different sizes. Sometimes I let people use those when we're sparring here or whatever. Uh, I got a bag filled with little accessories like my um, mouth guards and stuff like that. Sometimes people come over, they don't have a mouth guard, so we make sure they're protected. I've got my shin guards if we're doing anything MMA. Um, right here on my heavy bag hanger, I've got resistance bands. These are great for doing your axe chops, which are an exercise that can increase punch power. I also use them for hand speed drills. Over here, I've got another pegboard. I've got spots for all my gloves. Um, the glove dogs, they uh, have cedar chips in them. They help to dry out sweat. So it's a good thing to basically maintain the gloves. I've got my double end bag, uh, hourglass bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, it's good for, you know, upper height, like head shots or body shots when you're working the floor to ceiling bag. I've got my tight kick pads, and then I've got my ringside punch mitts. Um, stepping back, I have my heavy bag. This is a six foot tie bag, 130 pounds. Uh, me and my dad worked on building this assembly here that you see. It's anchored to the floor with concrete anchors and then we used fence bands to attach those to the studs on the wall for stability. And the thing that's nice about this bag is you can take uh, this pin out and the whole bag will rotate against the wall for space saving purposes because this is not a very large area. So if I'm using the double end bag, I usually swivel the heavy bag out of the way. Um, speaking of double end bag, I've got this set up here. Anchor slides. And uh, this double end bag's, you know, perfect, lined up with my head. Not too loose, not too firm goes all the way up to the ceiling there and uh, it's pretty much designed so that I can take this off this off off of the anchor that we made out of a weight we welded some washers in place and I've got a different uh, carabiners on there for height adjustment but it makes it really easy to switch from this style of double end bag to the hourglass bag depending on what my exercise routine is for the time being and then when I'm not using it, it just slides out of the way fairly easy. Next you see that rope on the wall. I can run that over to the 
pegboard area and it makes a really good uh, basically head movement, bob and weave, slip rope, whatever you want to call that. And then I've got my speed bag mounted, um, basically just uh, mounted to the studs in the wall. And then I put in rubber flooring, as you can see, it's probably about uh, 20 square feet worth of rubber flooring, so it works pretty well for what I do here. And then the last thing is I put up this cork board. Um, on this cork board, I have obviously haven't finished it, but I've got some of my favorite fighters listed, like Ricky Hatton, uh, Roy Jones Jr., Jack Dempsey, and uh, Ernie Shavers. And I've got some of what their workout routines are. Some of them I pulled out of like biographies, some of them I found online. I've also got different meals, meal plans of what they use to eat. Um, some of them are pretty vague, but it just helps for motivation. So, sorry if this uh, video is choppy, not a very big space to work in. It's just enough to be able to circle the bags, reg um, depending on which one it is that I'm using. And then usually all my sparring is done outside um you know i have my pink little three pound weights used for hand speed drills um so yeah thank you for taking the time to check this video out um i'll be posting some more on things that uh you know i ran into issues questions i had when i was first starting like you know how do you measure for hand wraps um where and how do you measure for headgear, um, stuff like that. So we'll be talking to you when those videos are ready.